CEO Trail, one CEO Trail on Instagram, best known as Big C4. You know how that go. Took some shots, still here. You know, I came up with that name by just being myself and how I, how I live my life. I, I damn near run everything that I get my hands into. So shit, CEO then Trill, that's my middle name. My birth middle name, my daddy gave me that name. That's probably the only thing that nigga gave me. Growing up, growing up for us, that shit wasn't, that shit was, that shit was rough. Shelters, I was in foster care, a whole bunch of shit, like, we just never had our shit together, for real, for real, but that one, it didn't even fall on me. As soon as I got to a point where I can get shit together, shit, that shit, I got that shit together. Old enough to, you know, do my own thing, shit. That's what happened, shit, like, 14, 15, like, I could just, you know, I could save myself, not even save myself, but I could do, I could do more to help out my folks, cause it ain't even about me. If it was about me, I, I wouldn't even be rapping. I'd be some other shit. I was probably about 13, and then uh, there's a grown nigga named G, named G. He used to stay across the street from me in these apartments on these scooters in Alabama, Birmingham, and then. Um, he had the, the whole studio shit over there at his house, but he was using Acid Pro. He wasn't using Pro Tools. So then I, I was a kid, they used to smoke weed. They knew we was bad as hell, but they still used to put us out and shit. When they used to be in there smoking and doing that shit. But then one day, they knew I knew how to make beats and shit. They, used to, they was knocking on my door at like nine in the morning. My mom came to the door, they talking about, um, can you, can you get trust and come do this for us real fast? And that, that's when my mama knew, that's when everybody knew. Like, you got these grown ass niggas knocking on the door asking for you and shit. Shit, get some money out for it. But I can produce, but I just choose not to because all my beats gonna sound the same. I already know, so I just choose to rap off other niggas shit. Because that way I can switch up what I'm, what I'm doing. A lot of these niggas ain't rapping no more. I feel like what I'm bringing, a lot of these niggas can't rap. So, I'm bringing a whole different because it's either a nigga can't rap or he makes songs that survive. I could do both. So, shit, I'm gonna fall in, it's gonna fall in line with whatever I do. That's why I rap off other niggas beats. So that way I can just always switch it up. I can do auto tune, I can do damn near battle rap, I can do all that shit, I can do everything. And I engineer myself, so I know exactly how I want it to sound, so I make it sound just like that. I can do all that shit. I bring the microphone out, out that booth on your ass so fast. Do a whole tape in front of your face. You need no engineer. All I need is me, the guys. We'll be in there. I probably got like 300 songs. Just how many songs to this day? I'd probably say like 1,500 songs, probably a thousand good. 500 songs before I became C4, before, before CEO Trail came to be what he is when I was just playing around, and then probably like a thousand songs after that, probably like 1,500 songs, but this is what I'm finna do, right? Everybody was doing the mixtape series, I'm finna just hit everybody across the head with that old shit, mixtapes, like how Gucci and them used to do that shit, I'm finna fuck them up after, I, after this 2021. I'ma just go on the mixtape run page and I'ma just get to dropping. Done, done listening to this whole mixtape. Whole another one just drop. All good songs, all good shit. My, my, my end game is basically whatever. It's not gonna be whatever it take me, but it's gonna be more so like whatever I feel comfortable doing at the point. Cause we already at a point like, we don't really need nobody to do nothing for us anyways. Unless you got more money than us, and this is the big head labels. So the labels can give us a, you know, a line of credit for a billion dollars or something. And then, oh, we get the billion dollars on our heavy, I want to do it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, so at this point, you just rather whatever, whatever is comfortable, whatever makes sense. At the, whatever at the, the best, moment. whatever yeah, feels, man. whatever feels the best for me, my partner, my team, and shit that we got going on in our situation. Then that's what it's gonna be. This is mainly for my jit, my junior. So whatever I feel like he'll be able to, you know, 
get the most out of my hard work, then that's what, that's the situation I go for. Everything for him. It's not even for me. If he two, he'll be three, August 15th. Yeah, Junior? Yeah. Yeah. Call him baby folk. Outside of music, first and foremost, I'm a dad. That's my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is be with my kid. Like, he look just like me. He act just like me. I don't want him to do the shit I did, so I gotta be around so I can make sure he understand, like, shit, you can go do this, but you might not want to, you know? Cause I ain't had nobody around to give me no guidance, so I'm just, that's my favorite thing to do is just guiding him and then just seeing how he taking it, seeing what he do, and every day he just grow up even more. That's what I like to do. I like to get high and be with my son, that's it. Rap, I like to rap when I got them hard ass beats. When I got them beats, I love to rap. Whoever came try to try to kill me or rob me or whatever, I feel like they didn't know what they was getting themselves into. Not saying I'm a tough guy, but just saying they didn't know me personally. Not only that. I feel like certain things happen to certain people for a reason. I had a lot of shit going on before that shit had to happen for me, like doing a lot of shit, you feel me, like that don't make no sense to probably the wrong people. Right. I would never know because I ain't, it didn't really bother me at the time of me doing this shit. I ain't gonna say it was like karma, but I'm saying the fact that I lived through it, it was a lesson. The fact that I lived through it and I'm still the same way I was before I got shot, it was a lesson for me. And it's something that I need to take as a lesson and not, right. not downplay it in my mind. Because so, at this point, I feel like I don't got nothing to prove to nobody no more. The other party didn't make it. And I feel like in that situation, it was either him or me. And then, shit. You want somebody to live that's trying to rob me, or me that's defending myself? Like I'm defending myself. First, they had charged me with with the murder, but during that time, Georgia had passed a, like a bill, like saying like, um, if me and you do something, and one of us pass in the commission of the crime, the other person will be charged for it. You know, like aiding and abetting type shit. Yeah. So, then I wasn't charged for it. That was with the murder, but it was shit in the house, like drugs and guns, so they ended up charging me for that. So I had to end up, I had to plea out to having that shit on me, or you feel me, or I had to plea out to that shit, which was either 25 years on probation or 15 years incarcerated. That was my final plea, or taking the trial. And I didn't even want to go to trial because it's like right. shit. It's a gamble. Yeah, it's a real gamble. Like yeah. I go to trial, like case guilty on any of them charges. Like you feel me? They were gonna really try to stick me up with something. Right. So I just took 25 on probation with the five years backlog, and say if I do, you know, don't get in no trouble in like five to ten years, they'll suspend that shit. You know? When I got shot, uh, the police came in the house, and I was sitting on the floor, damn near about to die, like, shots in me, bullets in me, holding my stomach and shit, looking up at the police, and they was coming to bring me shit from the house, like, where'd this come from, where'd this come from, and I'm just telling them I'm finna die, but it was like, this, at that point, that was 2013, so at that point, I just realized, like, Police don't give a fuck about nothing I got going on. They just be wanting to solve a case. Absolutely. Yeah, the officer that the officer that stepped over me, nigga stepped over me. The officer that stepped over me, he got into it with the EMT about getting me at the house. It was, so that shit was like on some, like some movie type shit. Like you'd rather me die trying to figure out what's going on. Like you trying to keep me in this house instead of getting me to the hospital. So. The police, the police shit for me is, is, it's a touchy situation because after that, I never really had a, a good 
it's always been a bad taste in my mouth for police fight. Right. And it's not even because I feel like they some bitches or some shit like that. Like, nigga, I be just, I look at police just like a nigga on the street walking with his gun out. Like, if you if you see a nigga with a concealed gun, you going, okay, his gun concealed, but nigga walking around on the street with his gun out, you going to be looking at him like, damn, what the hell this nigga finna do, so. That's how I feel about police. Like they just be niggas walking around the street with that gun. I already got to worry about niggas who, who hiding that gun and probably might do some sneaky shit, try to backdoor me or some shit. But police, they just do what they want to do, and everybody face and not care. So I just be, you know, I be trying to just stay away from all that shit. Yellow tape shorty, uh, white chalk shorty, a four Glock forties. It's a Glock party, ayy. Pull up on that nigga block like it's a block party, ayy. Ay, I don't know who shot shot it. I was at a walk party. Ay, you got it, bro. Sure, I got it, bro. Ain't nothing to talk about. He, uh, yeah, hey. Trail hey. and the Vic tape. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about music on camera with Vic and that shit look fake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that. Somebody, somebody, you, you had some out here, and a bitch had done called me and was like, Vic was playing your song in front of his house. I was like, yeah. Turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just Mm-hmm. When you see me, you know what I mean, bitch. Big folk, bitch. I know you ain't just do that. Anything Man, let me get blessing. my money back. No, I'm just saying anything is a blessing. <laughs> that nigga just said, you gonna pull out a stat like that, man. Oh, it's all right. Look, he, look what he say. He say, it's all right. Anything is a blessing. This nigga said, anything is a blessing. What? Yeah, let me get my money back. Hey, we do like this and we do like that. I didn't got the cash to flash like that. But I am here to show you the way. I'm here to be myself. Happy New Year. Hey, get y'all money, man. Everybody put out a little dog shit. What the, you don't get no fuck with this shit on the floor. They say it gotta be 30. <laughs> man, put this shit on the floor, man. It's on the floor or not? Bro, I'm sorry. Put that shit on the desk. You know what I'm saying? We ain't tripping on no money. Put that dog shit down. I'm tripping on no money. I wanna drop this shit. Try call 1075. You can't even say that. Big like it's just like my pride. Take care of this shit. Take care of this shit. Niggas be walking up on me and shit. I be thinking they be on that. They be, man, we fuck with you, bro. You good. Like, niggas DM me y'all on Instagram. You good, bro. We ain't know none of that with you. Um, this shit feel good, man. Cause Chicago, Chicago, one of them cities, man. You can't come around here playing for sure. You gotta come around this bitch right. Cause you come around this bitch playing, somebody gonna spank your ass. We take this shit serious, cause. Nigga, one room move, nigga. That it cost one of my guys they life. Or me, shit. We can't can't afford that. All this money and shit, that shit don't mean shit. Can't bring none of the guys back. Man, what's going on right now, man? I mean, shit, really. Really, we just waiting on the, on the um, take it easy. <laughs> he peasy. Nah, we just really waiting on the guys, the rest of the guys. They coming around, coming down. Yeah, Trump shit, you know, he made us a couple. Young millionaires, we've on for Trump. Yeah. They, no, Maybe. <laughs> but everybody parking. We ain't on shit. We out here on the bridge, you know, just parlaying and shit. Real nigga shit, real nigga shit. I like that. I like that. I'm finna tell him, right? To all the little crowd he just put back, when y'all get in the car, play this song called 
Okay, cool. If I see your trip. Bitch, you ain't even better than that. Bitch, I ate a walk. Okay, I'm gonna get Go to your YouTube. Go to the song. You gonna get everything you need to know from that. See your you talking about that? No foul. It's there. I'm telling you. We gonna connect it through the rack. No foul. He's my brother. He's my brother. If you ain't hear his voice, you would think he was born here. Nobody hear all that check out. You feel me? And we not doing that. If he no ain't saying words, so if he's just walking, no. you'd think he was born here. No, I don't think it was the accent. Today, the trademark records come, came from me being my being my own boss and having to think for myself. You ain't how generic name it. All right, Tenay, the trademark records. The Tenay is from the camera. Like, when I had first started getting into all that shit, the highest quality was 1080p. So at first, it was 1080p. Then it was 1080. Then I had started saying trademark. Then it was 1080. Then I had put it together because I had switched it. I had tried to get away from the 1080. Mm -hmm. But it just kept following me. Like motherfuckers kept associating the 1080 with my name. 1080, 1080. So shit. I just took it and just ran with it. Like 1080 trademark records. And then I just trademarked that shit. Made it official. That shit mean a lot to me because I've been saying that shit for a long ass time. Like, I've been saying the same shit. 1080, 1080, 1080. And I kind of felt like that's the reason why I wasn't going to be approached by a rapper to be like, shit, come sign to me some shit like that because I had already been acting like I was my own boss anyway. You know, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just being myself. You feel me? So. Once that mentality kicked in, I'm like, shit, ain't nobody gonna come to me because I think I know too much already. I'm gonna have to just do it myself. The same way they say, like, uh, it's, it's dangerous over here, you don't wanna go over here, or it's bad over here, you don't wanna go over here. If you a real nigga, if you, can, if you know how to adapt, if you been living how niggas been living, or you been doing what niggas been doing, it's like my brother, cause anything I do, if I rap about it, when I rap about the shit that I do, he feel that shit because he do the same shit I do. So it just it's just all a connection. It's all about, you know, right. niggas, niggas can, and niggas can peep like, niggas can peep sheep and, and wolves clothing too. So if that's you ain't really like that. Whole city, like, if you ain't really like the that. The whole city vibe off him. Like, no you can tell, like, I got ops playing my you would shit. You think he was from here. That asked where he from when you hear his voice. That's only how you know he from out of Atlanta. Like the way they fuck with him and his, but like he come. Show you from the rack, okay. <laughs> oh, but I'm coming different than a lot of niggas. You're a fool if you thinking you gonna get for You a fool if you think that you gonna get for You hear me? It was us three from day one, you feel me? Slack. From day one. Then DJ, then I met DJ. And no, then that's us. me. Not them three, us three. No, us three. Yeah, us three. <laughs> no bad. No bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then, we, and then I came I to the came, rack. No, he came, he we came all down. DJ was one booked. is one. We all been oh, here DJ from the beginning. Yeah. Phone them was... Locked oh in. yeah, DJ you know, came, to yeah. came to the crib. I yeah, came and met him on my own. Yeah. Like came to the eight, called four, four in the city. He oh, trail finna come grab you. Oh, you good? He, I'm in the city. He sent me. Oh, we good? We drugs, everything, like high in the everything. A, anybody we, we make make sure to do that shit. So like when he do like that, from now on out, anytime he ever come to the rack. It ain't nothing but love, what huh? Say, you see my lifers. car, you go to my, like, you hit my gun. Like, this no how we coming, like, that's how we come, like, how we come from one of mine. He did it, it for me, so, you know, it's, you know, that's shit. No cap. Oh, this one, one is up. Oh, that's your metal, man. All right, so we haven't, so we have not tripping on it. And we haven't, so we is not tripping on it. Yeah, anything my brother want. Y'all know we been having. This shit in the bus. And we been having, this man know. Been having, this shit ain't it oh, might be new to y'all, you We got unemployment too, We got everybody. Whatever they gon' get, they we won't We got accept. rob money, trap money, unemployment. We make this Put shit in the show. Hey, it's enormous and you know what you respect. Know. You know what you know. You ain't really gotta say too much, you know. For sure. You got niggas that's capped, you got niggas that's stand on business. Know too much. He one of those. He one of them. It's like this. But me and the guys gonna make it home every night. You can ask 10 people about Shorty right here. And all T ain't gonna say the same thing. One of those. Is that when I had my son, it was a different feeling though because I had him. We had him 2017. I got a, I got arrested like three months before he was born. So all the shit I was doing, I was hustling hard as hell. All the hustling I was doing just didn't go. It is like it didn't go to waste. But I wasn't there to even, 
you know, what I was hustling at first, so that shit kind of hit me hard when I was locked up and he was born. So when I got out, when I got out, I had some little, some little money from royalties from the first mixtape I ever dropped on Apple Music. And then I was just like, shit, well, if I can just make a thousand songs and let y'all scream it and get money paid off that I won't have to hustle in the streets no more. So that's when I just, that's 2017 when I really made the real transition. After I got out of jail, seen my son for the first time. Made a real transition to just say fuck, fuck the streets and just do the music because it was fans. I had a fan base at that point, a real fan base. Like, and then it just, it just started getting bigger than what I thought it was ever gonna be. So I just decided to take it serious. Being incarcerated, kind of like just being on the street. It's the same. It's like if you walk into a room of motherfuckers and. They smell, feel you, you walk in, and you, you know, there's some shit going on with you. They gonna eat you alive. They gonna try to use you. It's the same thing with jail. You walk in, and motherfuckers smell, feel you. I mean, you can go either one or two ways. I was on the lot of a couple months. I always be, like, on bond money. I ain't going to prison. I, I'm motherfucking hell no. Nah. I always get locked up for I, my la my longest time being locked up was like eight months. I was locked up in Fourteen County in Atlanta. That's the longest. First things first, man, let's get some understood. I'm a street nigga straight up. I was the one that signed the Gucci. Not even a long time ago. It's just shit. As soon as I switch shit up to not sign the Gucci, like to become my own boss, like, he can't try to sign me. Talking baby four, hey, talking baby four in the bed. I tell him stories about how his daddy used to see niggas like this. I was at my homie crib, and we was talking about some music shit, anyways, and about how I've been doing my shit and whatever. And we both were just looking at my phone on Instagram and we just seen the DM come through and there was a couple DMs and shit. But yeah, I was looking at them like, it ain't never the real Gucci man coming through my DM talking about, are you signed? Like, what's up? Shit like that, talking about hard on my shit, all kind of shit. That shit was crazy. It had felt like, it felt like I had got, I got to the point I needed to get to, to you know, all some shit you've been saying since you was a kid, like, damn, I want to sign a Gucci man, I want to sign a Gucci man. And then, he come trying to sign you and shit, it's like, even if you don't sign, you just hit a point, like, where you know, like, all the shit, all the shit that you've been working for, it ain't been for no reason. Just got to the point where I had done, realized that I wasn't going to be able to, you know, like, not be my own boss so i set it up to to well me and my business partner we set it up to to well like you know i'm running shit the same way gucci running shit and then i had the label i had the label that gucci signed to calling me too so i ain't even i was like damn that's a that's a that's a slippery slope this motherfucker that that was with me for the beginning of my journey and then as soon as shit started to take off, they, they right before shit started taking off, they started doing weird, wacky ass bullshit. So it's like, we, I asked them out right before all this shit started happening. And then it's like, you never know who gonna hate on you. The motherfuckers will be right next to you on some shit. So all the haters, I ain't got nothing to say to they ass, but I'm not gonna block you. My page's not private. You keep watching this shit. That's all you got to trust to do, you can't get up with me. It's over with. I'm too rich. I'm too rich. Getting our face out here, we're getting our name out here. We out we already really out here. We already got money. But we really just, you know, we turning this shit up another night. It just started getting bigger than what I thought it was ever gonna be. So I just decided to take it serious. Okay, cool is uh I mean Okay, cool is one of them records like what everybody say. We was just playing around and the shit ended up being something better than what we thought it was gonna be. But we I honestly wasn't even gonna drop it. I somebody heard it, we was on live, one of my homies was on live when I was recording it. Somebody heard it, they asked him for it. 
He asked me if he could send it. I didn't think nothing of it. Sent it out. Next thing you know, it blew up. Everybody was calling me like, I just heard this person in Chicago ride past listening to your song and this, that, and third. Motherfuckers was sending me videos, recording, like in the car. Other motherfuckers playing my shit. They play my shit on the radio. I was like, fuck it. This song's going big, so I might as well keep this one. First, that shit was wacky as hell because it wasn't one of them songs I was going, you know? But then it was like, I started, pre I appreciate that song more and more as the days go by because it's new shit happening just off that song. I got plenty of music, but it's just that song. It, I guess it's the most relatable to the general population. Everybody done had their feelings broke, feelings hurt, broke, broke up with, you know, cheated or some shit, pop. A lot of the niggas I know, they pop perks and shit. So I tell a bitch she ain't better than the perk. All my niggas gonna understand what I'm saying, so. Definitely gotta work with her. That's first and foremost. I wanted to work with Gucci. That was like one of my big things. I want to work with Rocco, Future. I want to work with all the my, all really all the underdogs, niggas that was slept on, niggas that was, you know, niggas that niggas never thought they was gonna make it up out the situation they was in or elevate their situation, and they did. Them the niggas I want to work with, the niggas who really got it out, the, not the hard way, but. No, they didn't take a hand out to get where they at. It's definitely a lot of niggas I want to get a feature from. I, I definitely get a feature from. I, I definitely want to work with Kodak. They free him. Definitely. I want to work with YB. I want to work with a bunch of niggas. Dirt. I want to work with Keith. I definitely want to work with Keith. Got to work with Keith. It's a bunch of niggas. I got a real work ethic. You can see me in the studio. Give me hot, man. I'll be in the studio. I'll, I'll make a million songs a day. But. I just want to be around motherfuckers just like me, or I ain't gonna be around nobody. I'm just keep doing doing what I'm doing. Fucked up bitch from my video of Vixen. Niggas using SBAs for a quick ten. I ain't gonna inside that clip. Can't bring my stick in. Pop the hood, open up the trunk and get the blitz in. Hey, thinking my video, acting like he ain't never need nobody. We was like Bruce Ford, but then he turned that Kibo got it. Ayy, bring them members and we hunted deep to love it. I took that good shit to the chin and still ain't treat nobody. I don't really, we don't glorify violence and shit. No, but the way we was raised and where we came from, that's how we cope, that's how we deal with shit, that's how we get by. Motherfuckers be mad at us because we move crazy, but. When you put a motherfucker in some crazy circumstances, you know, you leave them with what they got. This is what you're gonna get. Niggas like us, we all fried, but take it how you want it. The next four to five years, I will be one of the biggest artists. Will be, it's not a question. Cause OK Cool, not even my best work. So once you hear, once you hear OK Cool, you start to like it. You like OK Cool. You gonna go back to see what else I got. Then I'm still dropping, so it's like I ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get tired of my music, cause I can always switch it up. I can always do shit different, and I can make it to where it's a, it's a feeling that you get when you listen to my music. My partners be telling me they get goosebumps, chill bumps when they listen to my shit. So if I can make you feel like that, then you know I can do a lot more than just make your head nod. I can really make a nigga think and. You know, realize what I'm saying on them beats, cause them beats be hard, but I really just be saying some shit. I be really talking about real life and shit on them, on them songs. So, the next five years, I, I'm gonna be one of the biggest people ever to, to talk on the song, talk on the track, record a video, I'm gonna be one of the biggest niggas. The hardest at least, one of them. And I'm gonna have my folks all the way taken care of. Like, that's my main goal. My main goal is to do some shit legal and get enough money so I can just take care of my folks. My kid, my kid need to be where the, where the white folks at, telling them he don't care about how they act because he rich. He can fit right in with him. You know, the generational wealth. Yeah. Until next time to Chicago, you know? I feel like I gotta go home. But yeah, I'll be back. Did a lot of shit, got a lot of content for, for a couple days. 
Look forward to this shit coming soon. Always fuck with Will Gates. Hey, PZ, take it easy, big folks. We gone, man. You know I'm good at that. <laughs> Bitch don't want to come up off no play. Nigga acting like he is this nah, than the third. She fucking, she, I make niggas eat their words. You ain't believe in this shit, I'ma make you believe in this shit. Got my one suspect with me. Nigga, this try how I make some me. I'm Marley Babby with me. Nigga, I'm gonna shoot for myself. You ain't gotta worry who ran with me. These niggas, they slime with me. Like two times less than 50. Got a little room filled with bitches, and they can't help but kick it. And it's a gangster party, everybody in this bitch made it out the trenches. He told them niggas he was getting some money. Well, I ain't witness. Just like trouble out mind my business. And he did, can't find my witness. Fuck. Long little red ball, that bitch who I did it for. Yeah, bitch, you cool, but you ain't better than a perk, bitch. You ain't better than a plug dropping off the work, bitch. Bitch, you. I can't get no more. I don't get no fuck. You still got feelings. I can't feel no more. I mean, like looking at you, bitch. I don't want no kids no more. You broke my heart. You stank, bitch. I don't want to kiss no more. Say that's what they call me, but when these bitches hit me in my feelings, I am when I met her. I helped coach her, and then I made her call me. Then picked her up to go handle some business, and then get into some shit. Now a bitch falling in love with me. Can't even get a text back. Like Perk, bitch. You ain't better than a plug dropping off the work, bitch. Bitch, you ain't even better than a eight of walk. Catch you with that nigga, I might just put the pipe and spray the car. Bitch, you supposed to be my bitch, I cheated, but you broke. I ain't even had no ways of dealing with it. I talked to another nigga, got both of our feelings, nigga. The other day I slipped and almost caught you one of my other bitches. Bitch, you ain't even better than a eight of walk. I left, I was up. Shit you did, but I don't get no fuck. Bitch, all that shit you made me give, but I can't give no more. I don't get no fuck. You still got feelings, I can't feel no more. I don't even like looking at you, bitch. I don't want no kids no more. You count the bucks for me. You don't care. I don't care. My feelings ain't hurt, bitch. Bitch, I got on white ones. 50 on my shirt, bitch. I mess the gas too hard to watch that straight deep jerk, bitch. Hit it when I'm nice to one of these hoes. They on that jerk shit. Yeah, bitch. You ain't better than a perk, bitch. You ain't better than a plug dropping off the work, bitch. Bitch, you ain't even better than a eight or one. Catch you with that bitch, I might just up the pipe and spread it, car. You ain't better than a plug dropping off the work, bitch. Bitch, you ain't even better than a eight or one. Catch you with that nigga, I might just up the pipe and spread the car. Bitch, you supposed to. Bitch, I got on white ones. Fendi on my shirt, bitch. Slatty, slap, 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 slap.